Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, check. Power inspection. Good morning, Mr. Wheel. Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka. Hey, our old friend Wheel is the driver again. <sighs> that already puts Paimon at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? I am. You can leave the dragon slang to us. My partner's a pro. He does it all the time. What remarkable friends Her Majesty has. With such great heroes by your side, I'm sure you'll best the dragon with ease. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, Your Majesty. Just leave it to us. I think we're all set. Time to depart. <laughs> Next stop, the end of the world! So this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. Hmm. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. Attention, passengers. We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? It looks like... Haley Charles, they've taken over that platform! Huh? What do we do? Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. We'll take care of them. All of them. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so 
I think we're good to go. Wonderful. Let's keep going then. Go forth and witness this world, my... Make sure to be nice to everyone. I leave it to you. Are you okay, Miss Milu? I'm fine. But I think the Traveler is still unconscious. We're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. I'll oh, cut him some slack. The Traveler's had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a bit. Uh, but my... My leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, Hat Guy? <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> ah, he's awake! Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Milu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. Hi, Mom! Oh, no. It's all right. I... I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? Really? What did they say? The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. A traveler, Nilu, do you know this hat guy person? Oh yeah, he's a student at the Academia. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Vahumana Darshan. Well then, hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you Hat Guy as well? Seems like that's what everyone's calling you. Sure. Whatever. Wait, Hat Guy. What's that sword around your waist? An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it, but no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called what? The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. What? You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? 
It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed, the boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. Huh. Paimon's guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here. That's what happened with Navia and Nilu, at least. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, wait, where are you going? To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And... Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little... Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! do it right wow this scale is amazing it turns everything it touches into something hard almost like a toy block it doesn't seem to work on us though it spews out poison and transmutes everything it touches huh. no wonder they call it the evil dragon your majesty madam very brave hero What are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Wheel, you didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. <laughs> there seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the Titania mines, and some came to fight the dragon, then got stuck here. I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to fold a boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Uh, they think that's the location of its lair. Then we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your Majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. Oh, no! It did you bump into something? Oh. Well, if it hurts, just let me know.
Don't slip and fall. Well, we made it. But with the force of this waterfall, there's no way we're getting through. Quick. Take out the dragon scale. Wait, but... No. <laughs> Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. Um... The dragon scale can turn anything it touches into toy blocks, so... <gasps> Aha! You want to use it to block off the water! See? Paimon can figure things out all on her own! What's wrong, Milu? Oh, nothing. It's just... I sensed a very powerful magical signature just now. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. Huh? When did you put your hat on? Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Hat Guy also put away that sword around his waist. Oh, should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Paimon's getting kind of nervous seeing everyone else serious like this. idiots.
this space is completely empty. I'm on bets this is where the dragon sleeps. Watch out in front! It's coming! Look, he's here. Ah, another new soul has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, and let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is... <laughs> The dragon! The dragon that destroyed the Titanium Mines! Help! Help! Soldiers, pick up your weapons! Destroy that monster! How many times am I going to have to save you? Thank you, hat guy. Uh, Paimon still feels dizzy. Um, hey, did any of you also see something strange? It was like we were witnessing... The dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan, but maybe we should figure out where we ended up first. Huh. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. This 
place looks a lot different from the dragon lair. Wall and fury. <laughs> Upon the gale. He seems angry. We just want to talk to you.
evil dragon. Oh, the stars! It blew away with the Metropole stars! Oh, no! We... We didn't get eaten by the dragon? The dragon just dropped us off here? Hi, guy! You're getting too far away! <sighs> He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us somewhere? Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions about his past. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. Maybe there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning. But now, he's actually getting serious. Prepare for a final battle. Sometimes, it takes a little force for someone to finally wake up. Stubborn beast. You really want to get beat up that bad? Oh, its mouth is huge! Are we really gonna have to throw a bomb in its mouth? Watch out! If you fall, you're on your own this time.
follow me. Getting serious. Don't get hit. You're dead. Wait! Huh? <sighs> Are we? Inside the black mist? Oh, I see something up ahead. Are you sure you want to create this child, Em? Even after what I told you about his fate? <sighs> he will be abandoned by his creator, and eventually... I know. You've told me already. That sad story with the disappointing ending. It's what happened in the real world, isn't it? But that's exactly why I want to change things. In a different world, his story can have a happier ending. That child? His heart is so full of love. I understand, Anya. But know that if you give him that name, his fate in Simulanka is destined to parallel that of his real-world namesake. But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but... I have to try. He deserves a better life. Although, he might need the help of others when the time comes. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Hmm. <sighs> More boring fate talk. I'm sorry, my child. Unlike my friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So I will have to leave your side, I'm afraid. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. 
If you ever feel lonely, just look up towards the sky. <laughs> Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, I leave it to you. <laughs> So in the end, you're betrayed too. Hey, Mr. Dragon. Hey, brought you some food. You must be hungry. <laughs> You're a bad dragon, but you're always nice to me when we play together. You always help me pick flowers way up high that I can't reach. <laughs> it's okay. Just keep hiding here, and tomorrow I'll... Oh no, my child! Help! Somebody help me! Save my child! The dragon's trying to kidnap her! So you're hated by people, too. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? That's not a fate you should wish for. <laughs> Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. It's all right now. That was a close call. Are you guys all right? Back in Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you here. Right when I managed to catch up, I saw you fall through that hole. 
Wait, didn't someone else fall through just now? Shouldn't we do something? Oh yeah, that guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He called the dragon something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. Oh, hat guy, you're okay. Wait, what about the dragon... Durin? He's fine. Durin. Wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragon's Fine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being slain by Dvalin? If Pylon remembers correctly, it was created by... Right! It was created by Rhine Daughter! Hmm. Created, you say? Huh. So, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. <sighs> so that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titanium Mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, you are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. Huh. Who is the person behind this voice anyway? And why did they bring us all here? Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. Is this... a study? That's right. It belongs to the Goddess of Fate. Goddess of Fate? As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexenzirkle. Hexenzirkle? As in... Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you say, it's just... It's a lot to take in! She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version, at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know, including the identities of the other two goddesses. Read them for yourselves. By all rights, I should have been A, since A is the first and last letter of my name. But Alice overruled me on the basis of seniority and said I should be N instead because of my middle name. <laughs> she really knows how to push my buttons. Still, her magic never fails to amaze me. I still can't believe she got one of my origami frogs to start talking. Hmm. Why don't I write a story with origami animals as the main characters? Let's see. Once upon a time, in a magical forest, there lived a group of animals made of paper. Barbie loves looking into the future, so she used her powers to map out the fates of all living things in Simulanka. But knowing the ending in advance takes all the fun out of the story. I think I'll make a bet with her. I believe that one day, the people of Simulanka will decide to carve their own destiny. Oh, apparently, she wants to build a statue of herself in the capital city. <laughs> Always looking to add some pizzazz. Hmm. 
My dear sisters, I fear my pen shall soon run dry. Even now, as I write this letter to you, my dexterity is all but failing me. Thank you for enjoying my stories and for creating this world for me. The time we spent together was the most wonderful youth I could have asked for. <laughs> I always feel so young when we're together. A says that even after I'm gone, the goddess of fate in Simulanka will continue to exist and carry on granting people's wishes it makes me glad. If you ever want to chat, feel free to pay a visit to the goddess statue. Just don't wish for anything weird. It's Simulonka Duran, and he's looking up at something. A star. This must have been after M passed away. This looks like... a mine. Maybe... the Toitania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. Now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. <sighs> it's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. <laughs> Don't say that, Durin! Paimon made a mistake. She was wrong about you. But it's nice to talk, isn't it? Now that we've all calmed down? <laughs> So that's why you made that wish? <sighs> so stupid. Hey! Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. <sighs> you just want to make friends. People to play with to talk to, people who accept you, or at least, accept your apology. Well, you've never hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are. Yeah. If you had a heart-to-heart -heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. Huh? Milu? 
Is it your true wish to live side by side with the people of Simulanka? Then close your eyes, and make a wish to the Goddess of Fate. We will help make your wish come true. Just trust me. Fairy, give to you my blessing and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. May everyone accept you as one of our own, and may the forest of blessings be a place you can call home. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too! As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this world, I give you my blessing, too. Wait, what's going on? <sighs> I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. As for this world, I leave it to you. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Huh? My... my claws... Are these my claws? And my wings? Oh, my tail? <gasps> Does this mean? <laughs> wow, you look so cute. Quite a radical transformation. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the way you looked before, of course. <laughs> it's just... Uh, you get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does... Anyone have a flower with them? Or even just some water or paper from this world? Oh, I do actually. Here you go. They're... they're not changing. I can touch things without changing them. Hey, that's great! One more flying friend for Paimon! Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm, but what about all the things that I did before? That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground, or help the people around the Broken Sea get home. Okay. And you'll come along and help me, right, that guy? Huh? Why would I do that? Uh, because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... Gah. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? But I thought... <sighs> <sighs> All right, fine. I'll go with you. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. You're the first friend to call me by my name. <sighs> Let's go back up. 
I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> yeah, okay. Paima just never thought we'd see the day, that's all. All right. Let's also head back up then. Uh... Don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time. Ta da! Surprise, everyone. Ah! Attacking Street Lamp! <laughs> street Lamp? Oh, my. You mean you still don't remember me after all the times we've spoken? I know that voice. It's Mom's friend. Hello there, traveler and friends. And Durin, it's good to see you. You've changed quite a lot. In fact, you look so different that perhaps I should call you Mini Durin. <laughs> Mini Durin, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. It's nice being smaller. You must be one of the three goddesses of this world. Are you the goddess of creation? <sighs> yep, that's right. But although it's the most impressive sounding of the three, to be honest, we all made an equal contribution toward the founding of this world. If you've ever read any of M's stories, you'll know just how enchanting the worlds are that she writes about. So enchanting that I just had to step inside and explore it for real. So I got B involved and with M's consent, created the world of Simulanka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting a little ahead of yourself. First things first, would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no, what are we even doing here? <laughs> Don't worry, all will be revealed. After everything you accomplished on your journey, you're free to ask me anything you want. Hmm, let's start with your first question then. I'm here because I sensed a great magic power emanating from the book just now, and I couldn't resist the urge to peek inside and check it out. That must have been when we all gave Minnie Durin our blessings, right? Yes, exactly. In the world of fairy tales, words and emotions often carry far more power than any spell. It's all thanks to your magic that Minnie Durin was able to take this form. Come say hi to me, little one. Oh, look at you. You're as cute as a button. So, what about us? Was it always part of the plan that we'd come here? Uh, plan isn't the word I'd use. If you ask me, I'd say fate works in mysterious ways. When Durin of Simulanka made his wish to the goddess of fate, it just so happened that in a world far away, all of you wonderful people were holding a copy of M's fairy tale at that exact moment. And because of your noble and kind souls, you were selected by the goddess of fate to come and save this world. Now that you mention it, that's what I was doing when I was transported here. I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluvsandra. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow during a nap in a box. <laughs> wow, what a crazy coincidence. Wait, that's not right. How come everyone else got a sign to roll except us? Because we were also... We just received the strange book and we had no idea who sent it. Then, the moment we opened it up to start reading it, we found ourselves here. You're the one who sent it to us, aren't you? Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yes, that does sound like me, doesn't it? Hmm, good question. Why indeed? Maybe I thought this was such a good story, it simply had to be read by someone. As the traveler and witness of many worlds, how could I let such a beautiful place pass you by? I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Durin was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? That's right. In fact, 
Back when we were first creating Simulanka, M told us that she hoped the people of this world would one day be able to explore the wider world beyond. Every story has an ending, but if the story becomes reality, it should have the right to choose its own path. So, in other words, the predestined lives these people lead were always going to disappear one way or another. Wait, so even if the people here get to go to other worlds, surely there's gotta be a way we can leave too, right? <laughs> Don't you realize you've been able to leave all along? Huh? You can either take the boat at the Broken Sea or touch the giant bookmark at the Cliff of Prophecy. All you need to do if you want to leave is focus on the place you want to go. How were we supposed to know that if you never told us? Huh, didn't I? <laughs> well, given how smart and capable you are, surely it can't have posed a huge problem for you. As for your other friends who were summoned here, if I had to guess, I'd say the Goddess of Fate probably didn't tell them about it because she wanted them to get engrossed in the story. She's M's reflection, after all. It wouldn't surprise me if she shares M's love for cliffhangers. Anyway, I think that answers your questions, yes? What do you all plan to do next? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that, I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Hmm. Now we know how easy it is to get back home, Hyman's suddenly not in such a hurry to leave. Same here. It's not every day that you get to come to such a magical world. I, for one, plan to explore it a little longer. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I should invite some other friends to join you, too. By the way, Minnie Durin, I'm delighted to see you've made some new friends. I'm sure Em would be very proud of you. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories Em used to tell. <sighs> She's gone. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. But for starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? Ugh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. Whoa! Look over there! Wow. The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Oh. Thank you, Mom.